Hi, it's Amanda the Nail Polish Hound and welcome to this rewind of my winter nail polish rack. If you want to see the manicures that I did with these polishes, then just keep watching. The first one that I had was Trend It Up number 357. I did wear this one, um, but I forgot to take a photograph of it, so unfortunately I can't show you this manicure, but I am going to keep this polish. The next one was Hollow Taco's Crystal Skies. You know I love my Hollow Taco polishes. This one I actually wasn't so keen on. Um, it kind of looks a bit gritty, there's not enough of the bigger glitters in it and I came very close to de-stashing it, um, but my other half said he liked it so for now it's staying in my collection. The next one was Hollow Taco's Cool Cat Mum and I do love the look of this polish, I did not get round to wearing it. I will be keeping it and this one will be making an appearance on my summer nail polish rack. Next we have Imagine by Tonic Polish. When I put this one on my winter nail polish rack I thought it might be um, a possible de-stash but when I wore it as a topper I absolutely loved it. I got loads of compliments and this one is now a definite keeper. I also have done some investigations into other things it might look good over so I'll be showing you those at the end of this video. Next we had Polish Me Royalties Tutti Fruity. I love this polish, I keep putting it on my racks and I don't get around to wearing it, but I love it and it is going to be kept in my collection, but I really do want to get around to wearing it sometime soon. I just can't find the right time of year to wear this one, so let me know in the comments when would you wear this. The next one was KB Shimmers Cubicle Pusher. I do love this polish and I did wear it. I get so many compliments when I wear this polish and I'm definitely going to be keeping it. Although it doesn't photograph very well and doesn't look quite as mink coloured in the photographs it tends to pull quite grey. Next we have another Hello Taco, this one is Nightshade, it's a lovely purple colour, it was opaque in one coat, I'm definitely keeping this one. Then we had Essence Powder Room Party, this was an untried polish that is also in my project polish. Didn't get round to wearing this one either, uh, again not quite sure when the best time to wear that one is. And the next one was Feta Morgana, I do absolutely love this one. At the time I wore it my cuticles were really dry and flaky so I don't have a picture for you but it's staying in my collection. The next one on my rack was this essence and it's called Crunchy Cake. This one is another project polish. And I have been wearing this one quite frequently um, but I don't always take pictures of it. I don't have any recent pictures to show you. Next we have another Hollow Taco. This is 50 Shades of Grey. I love this sort of colour polish. I really enjoyed wearing it. I've got a horrible feeling that I have got quite a lot that are fairly similar so when I do get around to comparing them there might have to be de some de-stashes but I very much doubt it's going to be this one. And another Hollow Taco, this one is Tax Haven and another polish that I did not get around to wearing from my winter nail polish rack. I will be keeping this one and probably bringing it back around the autumn time. I think that is the time of the year that I'm more likely to want to wear this polish. Then we had Arda's Nails Masquerade. This is most definitely a winter shade of nail polish but I just didn't get around to wearing it. So for now that one will be staying in my collection but I do need to try and get around to trying it out. Then we had Masura Sweet Charm Beads. I remember really loving this polish the first time that I wore it. Um, it seems to have gone slightly off, more off-white than it used to be, if I remember correctly. But when I wore it again, I just didn't like how bright those glitters were and it's a bit of a pain to remove, so this one is going to be de-stashed. 
Next up, another hollow taco, and this one is Cold Slate. I love this one, I wore it in the same mani um, as Crystal Skies, and I'm going to be keeping it. Then we had KB Shimmer's Public Displays of Confection. I'm not sure if I like this polish or not, it didn't call to me at any point. So I have carried this one forward onto my spring rack and let's see if I get around to wearing it then. Um, if I don't, maybe I will do stash this one. The next one was Hallucinate by ILMP. I didn't get around to wearing this one either, but this one is definitely staying in my collection. I did have quite a long period of time um, where my cuticles were quite dry and I didn't really want to take off polish repeatedly, so I didn't wear as many polishes as I would normally have done. The next one is ILMP's Empress. I love this pink flaky and it's absolutely gorgeous. I wore it over the grey from my project polish just as I planned to. It was lovely and it's definitely staying in my collection. The next one, however, was Polish Me Royalties Draugr. And I did say that if I didn't wear this one this time, I was going to de-stash it. I made a good attempt. I tried swatching it over lots of different colors. I didn't like any of them. So into the de-stash it goes. Then the last one that I had on my rack was another hollow taco. It was Sonic Unicorn Skin and uh, absolutely stunning. When I originally swatched it on the swatch wheel, I did it over Sister Chic, but I actually wore it over Nightshade and it looked absolutely beautiful. Of course, I'm gonna be keeping this. I wouldn't be getting rid of any of my Unicorn Skin polishes. Coming back to Tonic Imagine, uh, I said I would show you the different shades that I've tried it over. And the first one that I tried it over was the Trend It Up number 357. I thought these two would look quite cute together. It does look quite cute, but it's perhaps a little too cute for me, a little bit sickly, sweet. Um, not my kind of thing in the end, so I don't think I'll be wearing this combination. The next one I tried it over was Crunchy Cake by Essence and it's not that great it's a little bit too yellow the effect that you get so I'm not really fond of this one either then i tried it over this pink polish flip flops and tube tops by morgan taylor this one was interesting but not my favorite i think i prefer uh, just a scattered hollow over the top of this one um, but then we're on to a winner one piece or two by morgan taylor this is a purple neon and I absolutely love this pairing. This combo is definitely going onto my summer nail polish rack. Next one was China Glaze Left My Heart in Havana. And as I was enjoying it over the purple, I thought I would try something a little more subtle. And I love this one too. Uh, again, I think this is probably going to be a summer combo unless I get the urge to wear it beforehand. Um, and then I tried it over a slightly darker purple because I was loving the purples and this is a lacquered violet Thought this was going to be another stunning combination. Actually, I found this one a little less inspiring And then I tried it over OPI's You're So Euro and I thought the blue might be an interesting combination But I didn't really like this combination either And finally, we have Sally Hansen's Blue Streak. And if you watched my spring nail polish rack, you'll know that this one is on there. And I plan to wear it with the tonic polish because I think that this combination is beautiful and perfect for spring. I hope you enjoyed my little recap. I do like to show you the manicures that I do with the polishes on my nail polish rack. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you in another of my videos. Bye.